B101.7 All the Hits. I'm Greg Thomas. In studio, homeschool mother for competes nationally in Spartan obstacle races, a woman of Spartan director, personal trainer, yoga instructor, and the founder and CEO of MomStrong. And then this past Sunday night, seen as a contestant on Steve Austin's Broken Skull Challenge on CMT. Welcome back, Anna Arsenal. Thank you for having me back. But we talked last week before your episode made its debut, and you were very tight-lipped on what was, happened. And yeah. if you won the $10,000, <laughs> yeah. tried and tried to yeah. get something out of you, almost uh, to the point of the, uh, you know, trying to trick you into the question of, hey, uh, have you made any big deposits lately? <laughs> you just wouldn't let up. So I Okay, so now we get to hear all the dirt, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> you got to see what happened. So. Let's jump into what we saw on TV. You were teamed up against Blair, a trapeze artist who was also from Alabama, living she, in Birmingham. She was. She was from Trustful, but she actually lives out in L.A. now. Oh, as okay. A trapeze artist. Mm -hmm. And the first challenge, the trench warfare. Right. Explain that. <laughs> oh gosh, that was such a fun challenge. It's they they put you on the either side of a big trench that's you know um, you know probably about waist deep, a little bit deeper, and. Steve says, ready, set, go, and you just have to jump in and try to get to the other side to, to, to ring the bell. And um, for me, my, my, my kind of strategy was to just outrace her because I had a feeling I was probably faster than her. Um, and so they kind of force you to make contact. And so what I had, I did was I, she tried to grab onto me and I just kind of shoved her into the wall as hard as I could. Yeah, um, and so I just shoved her and then I knew that, um, I think that we were really almost a little bit more on um, her side. So my, my strategy then at that point was just to run as fast as I could. And I knew that I needed to make a dive for it. So you see me on the show, kind of that slam dunk. Slow, slow motion. <laughs> 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 yeah. There it goes. Slow mo, oh, the yeah. slow mo, slam dunk. The look on your face. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I was determined. I wanted to Determination. Win. Yeah. Well, did it make a difference that you were competing against a girl from just right up by 2059 um, in Birmingham? Actually, we didn't know at that point. Okay. We had no idea any either any of our backgrounds, what our names were. Oh, oh really? All right. Yeah, we, we weren't allowed to speak to each other until after the show had filmed. All right, so then uh, you're just about to do this challenge. What was mm -hmm. going through your head as you're just um, about to, to go? Yeah, you know, anytime I compete in anything, you know, you get those real, like, you know, you're so nervous, you're kind of palms sweating and yeah. stuff like that. But um, I just felt really confident. I, I was, like, going to use my nervous energy and just, you know, kill it. So. <laughs> and you did. And then uh, you moved on to the next challenge. Yeah. And explain that. Um, you know, it, sh it makes it seem like on the show that it's right after, but really it's not. Oh, really? You know, we... Okay. You know, you go, and then the other girls film, and they cut, and they actually had me get back in the trench, and they wanted to, you know, some shots of me in the water, and then um, we went to lunch. So you have kind of a long time before you have to compete again. So you're just standing around with these girls that you're not allowed to speak to, which is awkward, um, building tension. And we had no idea what the challenge was until we drove up to it, and when I saw the yokes, I knew what it was because I had seen it on um, season one. So uh, yeah, that was that was kind of. Exciting and nerve-wracking. <laughs> and so you're ready to get started. You're, you're off to a big lead against yeah. your opponent. Yeah, I went up against Jacqueline, who actually ended up winning the show. Um, and uh, she she is just incredible and a beautiful, strong woman. And just, you know, you look at her and she's intimidating. And so I was a little nervous, but I also knew that I kind of had a feeling her background had to, had to do with wrestling or MMA um, and obviously CrossFit. So I... I kind of knew as a Spartan racer, I'm good at climbing up mountains. And so this big hill didn't really intimidate me, but in my mind, that amount of weight on my back was gonna outweigh me. So I knew that um, I needed to really support that weight. And I kept picturing myself falling backwards down the hill, <laughs> ironically. Um, and so I think when I got to the top, I, was, I knew I had a good lead, because I could hear Steve saying, you know, like the un he was like yelling stuff about like the underdog winning, because I think they kind of put, placed me as the underdog as a homeschool mom. Um, so I got to the top and I kind of put that third, those third chains on, and kind of had a little slip there. And then it took me a minute to kind of regain footing. And as soon as I did, um, I just kind of fell forward again and you see me kind of kneel down and my hands come to the ground and the big mistake I made is I didn't put my hands back on the bar I put them on my quads and tried to lift up and that's when I take several steps with the weight just balanced on my neck instead of with my hand support and that's when you kind of see me make that epic dive into the ground and my face bounces off the ground and and before you got to that point this mm -hmm. this yoke so people that may not have seen it right this 
thing what weighs about 35 pounds yeah I think it was 35 and, and then it, you go along and you approach uh, sets of barrels mm -hmm. and each one has more weights and what the, the weights were 10 pounds 10, 20, 20 30 I think yeah so um, you're I think they 10. said that once it all was said and done, I think on the show they say that it's 110, but I'm pretty sure the producers told me it, it, it was about 130 after it was all over. 130 right? pounds on your shoulder and right. this big, long, kind of awkward yoke. Yeah, it so, is. It's so you're awkward. past that third that third ring pickup, yeah. and, and I noticed that, yeah, you quickly, you were a little uh, off balance, mm -hmm. and then you started taking a few steps, and you were moving a little bit, but you seemed like you never really had your balance back 100%. I didn't, I did and I think that I was, I, I knew that she was going to catch me, and so in my mind, I was just rushing, I was trying to just do everything so quickly, instead of slowing down and getting my footing, which may have, may have Yeah, that, that's, that's me, a factor, but, right, mm -hmm, right, so. it, it, that pressure of, I don't want her to catch up to me, and and then you were so close to the finish line at this point. It's yeah. right there. It's tragic. <laughs> <laughs> and then the face first into yeah, the dirt. The face first into the dirt. Yeah, and my legs fly out from behind yeah. me and everything. I mean, it was, it was dramatic. Just, it was dramatic, and they loved it. You know, I'm sure the producers were like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Money <laughs> shot yeah, there. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, and then commercial break. Oh, what yeah, happened? Yeah, then commercial break because I'm pretty sure that people, all my fans and you know followers, were hoping that I got back up and was able to finish it out. But yeah, yeah, that's what you're right. The NGC con. Okay, what happens? Yeah. And at that point, that kind of fall, I would think that you're so disoriented at that point. Yeah, I was. I, I was really, really dizzy, and I, I, I had you know when I knew that Jacqueline had won at that point, I knew. You know, there was no quitting for me. I'm not going to just stop and let Steve go see you down the road and then just, you know, with my yoke, you know, in front of the finish line. So you sh you see me kind of fiddle and get the um, the chain back on. Um, they're going to have some deleted scenes where you're going to see me kind of pick up the yoke and cross it, the finish line because, uh, you know, as, a, as my brand says and as a mom, I wanted my kids to know that we don't quit. Even when we lose, we keep pushing and we, you know, finish with dignity. And so, um, so yeah, that's what I did. And I, you know, shook Steve's hand and... Jacqueline is an incredible athlete, and I'm, you know, hey, really that, that says a lot for your determination. Because didn't you uh, afterwards go to the hospital and yeah. you had a concussion from that? Yeah, I did. I, I walked off camera, and then they were still following me, of course, with the cameras, like they follow everybody for everything. And I started to get really dizzy. I felt my, I started seeing like kind of black spots, and I felt my knees go out from underneath me, and it kind of collapsed to the ground. And medics come over, and then after that. Um, my nose actually wouldn't quit bleeding, but I didn't even hit my nose, and so they were real concerned about you know concussion and everything. So I spent a lovely evening in the LA emergency room, and um, you know some time in the hospital, just kind of getting checked out and everything. So several days of a headache and several several months now of weird hair growth where my hair fell out. So. <laughs> When you finished up, because the, the taping of this was, what, last summer? In November. No, November, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, which the show makes you believe that it was in the summer heat yeah, and all, but, but November. Um, so how did you hide this bump? I mean, people probably ask, what happened to you? Oh, well, uh, you know, just had a bad day. Uh, yeah, uh, I think... Wear um, hats? Did you... I, I, wear, I wore a lot of headbands um, okay. just to cover up for a few days, but the bump actually went down pretty quickly, and then it had, you know, a big old, like bald spot like I said. Oh, okay. So I, I kind of lived in athletic headbands for a while which kind of is fine. It, goes <laughs> yeah. with the way, right? it fits you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Other people go into an office job wearing the head... What do you know? Yeah, I, uh, I live in fitness gear. So. Failing physical today. Yeah. All right. Right, yeah. <laughs> And yeah, that's interesting to hear uh, stuff behind the scenes, too, because when you watch the show, it looks like it, it's over two days. Yeah. And everybody mm -hmm. is in there doing your challenges, and then you get down to your final two, and then right. Steve Austin saying, oh, tomorrow we'll come back in. Right. They actually do film the, the, the Skull Buster Challenge, the obstacle course. They do mm -hmm. film, it the, film it the day later. So we were all still in California just kind of waiting to hear what, what was going to happen. And they, they don't fly you back right away just in case as they start editing, they need some shots of you or... Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many shots that that we filmed that they didn't even use on the show that they'll probably use in the deleted scenes that they'll put out online in a few days. So you go back to that yoke challenge and how close you were to winning that, and you figured the girl that beat you there went on to win. Yeah, she did. I mean, so does that play in your mind going, wow, if I would have beaten her like yeah. I was going to do, I would have. that would have been well, me winning? I think for me, you know, I'm such a competitive person in general. Like it, it just it eats eats away at me. And I've had you know many nights of 
sleeplessness and you know frustrating kind of running it through my head over and over again and the first time I actually saw the fall was on the commercial that they aired and I was super emotional about it just because you know it's hard to watch yeah. and you know kind of embarrassing and I wanted to bring back the win for my family and for Tuscaloosa but um but I didn't, and that's okay. You know, I'm a fighter and keep going and do some other cool stuff. And there you go. Um, super proud of Jacqueline. Like I said, she's an awesome athlete. And, you know, I think that they, they put us against each other because they knew it would be a great battle. And, you know, Jacqueline and Sarah went on to really wrestle it out in that yeah, pit, yeah. and it was cool. And <laughs> Jacqueline, you know, smoked the other girl's time. And Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not even close. So, what, uh, four-minute difference? Yeah, big time. So 16-something, yeah. Yeah. and she did in 12. It, yeah, yeah, just... Amazing. Yeah, yeah she's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So. yeah, impressive. Mm -hmm. So your experience uh, on the Broken Skull Challenge, uh, what were the accommodations like, some of the behind-the-scenes Oh, stuff? yeah. What it was, was that like? Man, it felt like a princess. Yeah, I mean, um, was it nice they, or what? Yeah, it's, it's neat. Slept in a tent on the ground? <laughs> no, and no, no, no. Um, they, they fly you out there, and, uh, you know, they pick you up in a kind of a, a weird big white van, and, you know, all the other girls are being picked up, but you're told mm -hmm. you're not allowed to talk to each other, so you're sizing up your competition, and you spend all day in the doctor's office, which you know, hmm. getting all these tests to make sure that you're, you know, ready to compete. And then um, the hotel was really nice. They lock you in your room. They actually, like, take your key from you. Huh. So you can't leave. So really? you can't, you know, communicate with the outside world much. And um, you bring you your food to the hotel room. It's kind of hard being an athlete, being stuck in a room. You know, I'm so busy all the time at home. So yeah, I really had to kind of, like, I was like, I think I watched, like, some goofy shows on TV and <laughs> did some work from my laptop, stuff like that. But it was hard for me to sit and had to beg them to go to the gym and they had to have an escort to go to the gym even. So, wow. Yeah. Wow. It's pretty close knit. Yeah, I bet you got a pretty good swag bag out of that whole deal too. Yeah, they, they, they kind of, Some nice, yeah, nice they'll, merchandise, they'll, yeah. Well, yeah. So <laughs> kind of, kind of. But, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good, it was, it's almost like a mini vacation for a lot of us. Most of us were moms, so we were all felt like we were kind of on vacation out there in Hollywood. <laughs> So what is next for you? Um, my next thing is I'm teaching yoga on a Spartan cruise in the Bahamas, and I'm also racing in the Bahamas in March. Um, I've got a race every month until December through Spartan, and kind of building the women's program through Spartan is kind of what I'm doing. And yeah, you know, teaching yoga at Headhunters, so you can come see me there, and personal training from from Tuscaloosa. And, um, Possibly, you know, thinking about some other reality shows. There's some kind okay. of things coming up yeah. that's, you know, a possibility. But we'll see. It's kind of also one of those things that you just have to wait and see that what's next for me. <laughs> well, you did a great job on Steve Austin's Thank you. Broken Thank Skull you. Challenge. It. Thanks for having uh, me. You know, a tough break, what happened there, but still yeah. impressive. <laughs> and it was a great experience, I'm sure, for yeah. you. And big things ahead for you. And thanks for stopping by. Best of luck. And Thank our you arsenal. Again. Thanks for having me. I'm Greg Thomas, B101.7. What do you mean, 1.7?